post-workout dry shampoo mist. It's just like, come on, how good do these look? Caramel apple peanut butter cups. I would say mental health wise, I'm at like a two out of 10. And I was just like, wow, y'all like live like this? That must be nice. Three years ago, this was the worst day of my entire life and it will forever be the worst day of my entire life. So there's nothing worse than having to like cook and having to clean before you cook. I mean, there are worse things, but it's up there with the suckiest things. Uh, my pasta. I'm distraught. This took a really bad turn. My, my fiddle fig was doing so good. And I just like was just like looking, kind of seeing how the soil was, and just everything just started falling off. So like Sir, what? Why are you dying on me? I don't know, that makes me so sad. But like look. Look at that, and I'm pretty sure there's more on the floor. I lied. Are you kidding? This is sad. What the shoot, man? I know I didn't water you for like 10 days, but like get over yourself. It's not that big of a deal. Happy rainy Monday. Just got to the gym. Um, it's a, like I said, rainy day. I, for the first time in I hate this little pony that I got working back here. First time in so long, actually like woke up with my alarm and like didn't go back to sleep. So I'm, ha I'm happy about that. And I saw on TikTok that if you go back to sleep after your alarm goes off, like your first four hour day days, your first four hours of your day um, are less productive. This guy was like, yeah, if you snooze your alarm for four hours. And I'm like, you always coming at me. Um, <clears throat> but gonna do a two workouts then we've got to run to target um for some returns order pickup and then i've got oh, all these packages to uh shin back mail off my ever i placed an everlane order and got completely messed up so i have to like send all of it back in separate ways but let's go to the gym i'm early today as well works wonders when you actually wake up on time and you're not stressed okay let's go Hey, super random, but I like died laughing this morning or was it last night? I can't remember. Arlo, I got this little like body sculptular thing I talked about. Um, it comes with a bag and he was like, why does it have a bag? Arlo was. And I was like, oh, so you don't lose it. And he's just like, well, if you just like leave it right here on the table, you won't lose it. And I was like, sir, you're the reason why 90% of my stuff is lost because you don't put it where it goes. You'd be moving stuff on me. And I'm like, I know you took my Converse shoelaces that I washed like a year ago and still can't find. Like they're somewhere in your room. There's nothing in your room. I don't know where they are, but I'm cons I'm certain that you might have like buried them in the backyard, stuck them down an air vent thing. I don't know, but like you're the reason why I have bags for things so that you can't see them. Hello, good morning, have a Tuesday. I scarfed down my breakfast and went to the gym this morning. But yesterday when I was in Target, I saw this. This is the Bumble and Bumble post-workout dry shampoo mist. It intrigued me. Cleans, refreshes, damp and sweaty strands, post-gym, mid-heat wave, or whenever. On the move, this quick drying dual mist, uh, liquid mist, is what he stands well, helping to eliminate older. Shakes super well. Section hair and spray about six, let it set for 30 seconds. I think I'm gonna give it a go and see what it's like because I had some sweaty workouts this morning and my hair's all like flipping out because I was in a pony. But, I mean, it's really not that bad today, but. Um, but I washed my hair yesterday, so I was going to do dry shampoo anyway, so let's, let's give it a go. Okay, let's let it sit 30 seconds. It feels very, like, cooling and smells like eucalyptus, kind of. Calendula. Mm, which is, like, calming and... 
we'll see. Um, but yeah, I picked up that and then I also picked up some little hair clips. So when I was at Target. Cause I really liked this one. If you ever do that, you buy like a pack cause you like one of them, but honestly I'll wear the other ones as well. I just feel like I can never have enough of these clips because I'm always using them. But this clip really intrigued me. I thought it was so cute. Obviously not gonna wear it like that, but I'm curious to see how this like actually functions. I mean, I don't know. My hair wasn't super oily. It doesn't feel as like textury as the other stuff does. I'm curious. I like it. What do we think? I don't know. But let's try out my little clippy. We, I guess we could do it down below. Do some, oh, some uh, sweaty business down below here. So that's it. So yeah, I don't know. It might be nice to like keep in your car if you go to the gym before your workout or whatever. Um, cause sometimes I do feel like gross putting on, yeah, it has alcohol in it. Hoping it doesn't dry out my hair. But then again, you know what? I could use some dryness on my roots because your girl is so oily. Like it's kind of insane. <laughs> That's cute. Um, might be nice to like keep in your car though. And it's not like aerosol, which is kind of nice because it's like not getting everywhere in your car. Which I kind of like the idea of that, so. I don't know, my hair's looking crazy right now, but that's all I need to do to you guys. Happy Tuesday. I have a full day of editing, which is going to take me a long time. Yesterday I did a full closet um, transition video and did it as well, which took me like five hours. Scott was like, how did that take you five hours? I was like, I just did. But honestly, I'm quite proud of myself because I feel like... In the past, I would do closet cleanouts and I would just be like getting rid of so much stuff and I'd be like, why did I buy this? Da, 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 da. And I feel like I've been much more intentional with what I'm buying, even though I'm still buying. I'm being more intentional and I'm not like just getting rid of trash bags upon trash bags of clothes every time I'm like cleaning out my closet. Like I had two donation bags and that might seem like a lot, but like last year, I'm pretty sure I had like seven to 10. That was a problem. Like. It's one of those things, it can be really hard to donate our clothes because you're like, oh, I wasted so much money on that. But at the end of the day, like learn from it and move forward, but don't hold on to it because that's doing you a complete disservice. Um, so yeah, I feel like, I don't know, not bad. Hello you guys, happy Wednesday. I just got back from Pilates. I went to Whole Foods. I have four minutes before my therapy session. Um, I realized I hadn't talked about it in like forever. I'm still doing it. I'm just not doing it as much as I used to. And then um, I'm specifically doing it um, today or this week because my mom's um, death, death of her, I don't know, what the frick do you call that shit? Um, is... Friday and I had a serious breakdown yesterday, like serious. So before that starts, let's do a really quick haul. I went to Whole Foods, cilantro, I'm gonna make shrimp tacos today. These are my favorite tortillas that I found in this area. The organic La Tortilla Factory. These just like, come on, how good do these look? Caramel apple peanut butter cups. I think they're almond butter cups. Some slaw for my taco, shrimp tacos. I already have shrimp. This is my favorite little like mango salsa. It's so good. Some tortilla chips. And I wanted this for a while and we've been out. Blackening seasoning. This is the Pike Pier Fisherman one. No matter. And then a jalapeno. Okay. And then of course I got a latte. And I hate paper straws, so. <clears throat> Like save the fish, but glass straws are so superior. I can't believe I was using metal straws for so long. These are so good. Okay, I'll chat with you in a bit. Bye. 
Therapy's done. Breakfast made. My same egg sandwich. Let's go upstairs and work. Hey guys. Um. Oh, I'm gonna be the worst vlogger. It's gonna be a lot of days compiled together. Um. I would say mental health wise, I'm at like a two out of ten. Um. Yeah, not doing great, but I guess to be expected um and yeah i don't know anyway on a brighter note um i've just been editing and working but um i did want to talk to you guys about the food that i've made been making um sorry i am such a space right now I honestly should just go crawl into the bed because I'm not much awake right now. Um, but anyways, at the beginning of the week, or on Sunday, I prepped ground turkey, a bag of frozen rice from Trader Joe's, which is like two servings, I think, or something like that. I don't know. And then um, the Pure Vita vegetables from Costco, which are just frozen mushrooms, peppers, onions. There's Brussels, but not many. They're left in the bottom of my bag. So I just cooked up the ground turkey, the veggies, and the rice in a skillet with just salt, pepper, and garlic. Very, very basic. That's it. And then I portioned it out into, I think I did, did I do four? I think four. I don't know. Four or five meal for the week. Monday, I had that whole mixture over um, like a bed of romaine. Tuesday, I had lettuce cups, so I put that mixture I put soy sauce and um, some of the Japanese barbecue sauce on it and had lettuce cups. And then today, I'm having loaded chips, so I loaded them on tortillas and then put um, taco seasoning on the meat when I was cooking it, and then I topped it with cheese. So like, it's the most versatile thing. You never feel like you're eating the same thing and getting just like bored. Cause like today, like I was like, it's lunchtime. I need to eat before I get into my hangry snacking where I just like binge snack and then don't eat dinner properly and then I binge again before di bed. Whatever, it's just like an unhealthy cycle that I can find myself in if I don't eat properly. So, but lettuce, and that didn't sound good to me. I was like, I need some comfort. Like I needed a comfort meal and this is a comfort meal. Um, sorry, my uncle owns a taco shop sorry in um in new york and it's called that taco shop if you live in batavia that's what he owns i think my cousin now is taking it over but anyway um whenever i would go to doctor's appointments my mom would pick me up and all my doctors were in batavia even though we lived further away um they were all in batavia and we used to always go and get lunch at my dad uncle's taco shop after my appointment or before my appointment or whatever and we'd always get loaded chips and cheese. <laughs> and um, granted, this isn't like hamburger, or like burrito meat, but same kind of thing. But it just sounded good to me, so that's what I'm gonna eat today and just um, probably take it easy and sign off for the rest of the day. I have a lot of stuff I need to do, but it's okay. So I'm gonna, mm -hmm. I'm gonna get through it, but. I did want to say that like if you feel like you don't want to meal prep because you don't want to eat the same thing over and again make something super bland that you can season a bunch of different ways to eat it so many different ways you can eat this in a tortilla um you can eat it so many different ways so yeah i'm happy that i made it future kelly's happy that past kelly made this because it's good all right hi it's 4 30 um, I'm gonna unbox the stuff that I have for a video coming up and I just wanted to like get out of my bed and like I was just like god I just like want to get myself to go for a walk or I want to get myself to just take a shower and I brushed my hair so <laughs> that's a start right um like the best way I can describe how I feel right now is like very little joy <laughs> um to the to the point where like if you gave me like like things that normally would bring me a ton of joy right 
um, like for instance, you gave me like 20 grand and you're like, just go buy, go to Chanel, buy a brand new purse, right? Normal Kelly would be like, oh my gosh, especially if it wasn't my money. <laughs> um, and right now I'm like, mm, not interested. Like, like I don't even want to get dressed. I don't want to do any of it. <sighs> I don't know. I, I'm just having a struggle day. Real and honest today. That today just is one of those days. Um, and the crappiest thing is that I have a feeling that I have these days until I don't anymore. I just have this like weird, um, super, super empty feeling right now. And it really started yesterday. I was just minding my own business, like working. And then I saw someone on TikTok talk about the death of their sister. And I was like, how did I forget? And I didn't forget. I didn't forget. I knew that it was this month. I knew, like, subconsciously I've been feeling, like, crappy. But, um, it comes on so fast. Like, the date. Like, you're just, like, ready for it. Prepared for it. But you don't want to prepare too quick for it. Um. And I was just, like, I felt guilty, like, that I hadn't been thinking about it a ton. But then, um, I spent the whole day couple hours looking at all the pictures that I took that are on my phone from three years ago the month before um like a month within the month of September the month that she passed I took all those pictures I looked at all those pictures and the last picture I took was on the day that it happened and I was writing moped and miss winnie was like in between my seat and i kept feeling of all the days that were leading up to that i'm like god i wish i i wish i knew but of course that's just not how it works right but um yeah I just look back at those pictures and I'm like, I look at her and I'm just like, I look back at me and I'm just like, God, you had no idea. You had no idea you're about to lose the biggest person in your entire life. And um, I finally, for the first time, talked to my therapist today about this dream that I have, this reoccurring dream. And I've had it like probably three times this month where my mom can come back, but only if I make like this ridiculous amount of money. It, it, it depends. Every dream is weird, right? Every dream is different. But basically my mom can come back if I can make this amount of money. And, um, and in the dream, I never, I don't make that much. She doesn't come back. And it leaves me feeling like I could have her if I was successful or I was this or that. And I never, I never understood why maybe I was having this because um, I would think about it myself and I'd be like, my mom always believed in me. My mom always like 
just showed unconditional love no matter what. Like she always believed in me. She wouldn't be like, oh, because you don't have this, like I can't go back. Like that's a pressure that she never put on me. So I never understood in my dreams why, why it kept happening. And I talked to my therapist and she was like, it's probably the opposite of what you think. It's probably the fact that she's not here giving you that reassurance is why you feel like it. Because she was that person that gave you reassurance. Like you're doing great, you're this, you're that, you're, I'm so proud of you, this. Like she gave me all of that. So it's like, not only did I lose, you know, her, I lost that person who was just like, unconditionally proud of me. I always think, oh, I should do something to remember her. And in reality, I'm still just trying to get through the day. And I don't know if I'll ever get to the point where I feel okay enough to do something that just like reminds me of her on that day. I do stuff that reminds me of her every single day. But um, the thought of planning the day, it's just in two days, it's just... That's too much for me right now. So. Yeah. Hello, good morning. <clears throat> I did a gluteus max out class with um, this not new instructor, but new to me instructor, a Lifetime. And I took her class last week as well. She is just killer, like really intense. Oh, good. I mean, I'm not mad about it. I'm just exhausted. But I ran over to Target because I needed to get bleach because I'm going to out Arlo right now. Um, he was in the bath and he farted, but not a normal fart. So I have to clean that. And then I'm so sick of dealing with toothpaste literally all over my counters. So I grabbed this one that's like a pumpy thing. Um, it has Spider-Man on it. And then last night, <clears throat> he was like, what are you doing? And I was like, using mouthwash. So I thought, oh, how cute when I saw this. It's wacky watermelon mouthwash for kids. And then I've been having like gum sensitivity on my top gums. Oh, I figured I would try this since then. And see how I feel. Hello. I very rarely ever film this late at night, it's like eight o'clock. Scott is actually doing his breaks downstairs and Arlo's helping him. But do y'all ever have like, I don't know if you can hear it in the background, baby shark going off? Hold on, it's gonna drive me nuts. But it's one of those bath toys that like both the sensors, like as soon as it hits water, it like starts singing. And it's like the creepiest thing. Like I just rinsed out the bathtub that's been sitting in bleach all day. Um, Cause I completely forgot and I was just rinsing it out. So it just got wet and it's very old. Like it's probably two years old. So it's like malfunctions. But um, does it not like creep you out when you're just like hanging out and all of a sudden it turns on and you're just like, ugh, creepy. It reminds me of those like um, Furbies I used to have when I was a kid. Anyway. um. One of the best things about your child getting older and having interest in like doing garage stuff, boy or girl, I used to like doing stuff with my dad outside, um, is like the peace you get <laughs> at night sometimes. So I'm just taking some time to wrap up um, my video that goes live tomorrow. <coughs> oh my goodness. Um, and yeah, I cleaned up. I made chicken cutlets, um, or chicken katsu, whatever you call it. Um, the brock your body with like an arugula salad and balsamic and vinegar and Parmesan cheese and some lemon and then some roasted cauliflower, baby cauliflower, which was really good for dinner. And then um, 
yeah i've just been working a little bit so i cleaned up all that and i'm gonna plan on cleaning arlo once he gets in from being out in the garage he's a mess i'm hoping they'll be up somewhat soon because <laughs> arlo's been going to bed so late lately but he sleeps for a while i feel like everyone we talk to they're like oh yeah my kid goes to bed at like 7 30 but he also wakes up at like 5 arlo like goes to bed at like between like 8 30 around like yeah like 8 30 and then he's probably asleep by nine but he sleeps in until like seven so i think he's still getting plenty of sleep but i remember just like worrying about it but anyway um yeah hi <laughs> i feel like i never get to chat with you guys because i'm or in the evening and i feel like i've been really bad about filming my dinners and stuff so i need to get back into that routine it's just all about routine with vlogging and like picking up the camera and just remembering to do it hi you guys Blah! this is bad ideas this is bad idea <laughs> why do i try to do this um just got out of my my god glass i'm such a sweaty little lady but crushed it i do the um like cardio kickboxing class with weights at the end it's so good she's my favorite teacher her name's so cool but i'm gonna run to trader joe's because brock your body released her um uh butternut squash mac and cheese recipe like not redid it but like re-explained it and i had never tried it last year so we're gonna go get all the ingredients to make it today so let's run to trader joe's again today um she's probably one of my favorite people to do her recipes with um so let's go and get all this stuff i'm like insanely sweaty i look like i peed myself but whatever hi um, I like never film in my bathroom, mostly because it's just like always a disaster. Like, whatever. I don't know why I care. <laughs> I think a lot of people's bathrooms are a disaster. One time though, we went to this like party, not even a party, well it ended up being a party, but at one of our friends' house in Dallas, and their bathroom was just so clean, and I was just like, wow, y'all like live like this that must be nice i don't <laughs> anyway um i'm gonna curl my hair i did nothing today you guys it's like it's almost five o'clock i'm gonna start making dinner soon um yeah i took a bath because i was feeling really sore after my workout class and after like going grocery shopping and stuff and i was like oh i'm like on this high and then I was like gonna ride it out and then I just started not feeling so hot like just sad so um I crawled into bed I ate some lunch I edited I edited two videos so it's not like I didn't do anything but yeah I just I don't know I told myself I wasn't gonna push myself if I didn't feel like doing anything today I'm not gonna do anything and uh that's okay so I say that to say, um, I forgot, not that I forgot, it's Scott's meeting his cousin, his cousin's flying in from Dallas to Indiana because he, the, Scott's other cousin lives in Indiana and, um, the cousin flying in from Dallas is visiting his cousin and his niece. And so, um, oh, I hate this Whoa. toothpaste. Um, so while he's here, like he's only like four hours from us, Scott's gonna go golfing with him all day tomorrow. I think they're gonna play 27 holes. And I'm just like, don't you get tired from that? And he's like, no, I'm gonna get better. And I'm like, yeah, okay. So anyway, it's just Arlo and I tomorrow. So I wanted to make sure that like, I washed my hair and like styled it some way so I don't have to worry about doing that tomorrow. I mean, it's not like it's impossible to do with a toddler, it's just easier to not. <laughs> so um, I know tomorrow I would like to go, or I have a workout class planned, so I have a 1045 workout class um, that I'd like to go to and then I'll take Arlo to like the kids center and then I'll probably come home, eat lunch and take a nap and then I want to go see 
the new Paw Patrol movie. I want to take Arlo to see the new... I mean, I don't want to see it, but Arlo's very much into it. So I figured we'd go see that, and that would be, like, our little, like, excursion thing for the day. And if he's listening and on his best behavior, we would go to the mall first, because I do have to do Sephora return. But, yeah, we will definitely play that by ear, because I don't really like going places um, like that by myself with him when I have, like, actual, like, goals to accomplish, you know? So, we'll just, we'll see. Especially Sephora, because I remember when I worked there, like, nobody wants some little kid running around sticking their fingers and stuff. Like, no. Don't touch. This is not a store for babies, okay? But I'm in a stroller or leave my home. So, yeah, I strongly believe, like, there are certain places that you just shouldn't take your kids. Um, as someone pre-kid used to think that, and then someone post, or, yeah, post-kid. So, anyway, nonetheless, I say that all to say, um, I wash my hair. I have been loving you guys. This shampoo, the Kristen S. Clarifying Shampoo, has been crushing it. Like, I for, like, I don't know why I was, like, letting my hair get so greasy and just using, like, normal moisturizing shampoo and conditioner. Well, shampoo mostly. And, like, not putting it together that, like, girl. No duh. I don't need moisture. <laughs> I need absorption. So I decided to try this out. And I love it way more than my Way one. It only leaves my hair oil-free truly for, like, two days and then I need to wash it again, but that's fine. That's like my normal routine. Um, I'm just a hair toucher and yeah, the only thing I'm interested to see, and this I think will take time to see if my ends get dry. Right now it's not an issue, um, but we'll just have to play it by ear and see if my ends get dry or if my hair starts to feel dry. But my hair is so not finicky, if that makes sense. Like it's just, I don't know, it's just, not finicky and pretty easy to be honest with you like i've never really done that much and it's always just been easy so nonetheless i'm obsessed with that cha that shampoo and i am gonna curl my hair because i like never curl my short hair i really only ever leave it um or like do like blow out like roller velcro rollers and like straighten sort of thing um i think i've only curled my straight hair like maybe half a dozen times so I figured I would do it and I actually love doing it at night because I think it looks better the next morning after you've slept on it so yeah um, I'm gonna do that and then did I say Scott is currently golfing right now he went to go do some practice golf is so weird I tell you um <laughs> but uh, yeah he's golfing right now and um, I'm going to make Butternut squash, mac and cheese for dinner. I'm also going to do chicken and broccoli just because, like, I can't think of just eating mac and cheese for dinner. Like, that's not a full meal. It's not going to keep me, like, full. I'm going to want, like, 17 servings of mac and cheese. So I figured I would do a little bit of chicken and broccoli with it as well. Um, so, yeah. I just thought I would check in and say, yeah, my day really didn't quite go how I planned, and that's okay. Um, because three years ago, this was the worst day of my entire life and it will forever be the worst day of my entire life. So it's okay to not want to celebrate it. It's okay to do what you need to do to get through the day. Like, and it's weird. And I've like, you know, I really didn't cry. I haven't cried yet today. Um, but I cried a ton this week it's weird sometimes with like my sadness like this year going around I focused on more of the days leading up and being like oh my god three years ago and this day I had no idea what was gonna happen and I focused on more of the build-up than the actual day this year grief is so weird I can't even begin to explain it um but yeah I'm not even gonna try to explain it because you know if you're going through it, and I don't know. It like, but you think you've like figured out a way to, to master it, deal with it, it just, I don't know, there's for a curveball. Anyway, 
I'm like in my debating phase of whether I want to grow back my long hair again. Um, I don't know why. I just have been thinking about it recently, mostly because I was like, I had to go back, oh, so annoyed, I had to go back and re- like edit a bunch of my YouTube videos because I got flagged for this annoying reason of copyright music but when I was using their music it wasn't copyright like it was copyright free and uh, now it's not anymore so every video that I have used which I use a lot of the same sounds in my videos because uh, I hate looking for music and no one really cares about the music anyways so um I had to like go through and redo every single one of my videos so it's been like kind of annoying and I get a new one I get 10 new ones like every single day to be honest with you guys so uh, it's been annoying but I've been looking back at my old videos and I'm like oh I look so much younger with short or with long hair which is kind of weird but anyway I don't know if I'm gonna go back right now but we'll see we'll see the next haircut of my what I decide to do but I'm gonna curl my hair and then let's go downstairs and make some butternut squash mac and cheese. I'm issuing course. So, I've been like watering my dead time for like a while. There's still one little sprig left, but I decided it was truly time to uh, get a new one. So, got a new one today. I need to feed my freaking birds. They be eating me out of house and home. But I need sage in time for today's recipe. So, let's get going. There's nothing worse than having to like cook and having to clean before you cook. I mean, there are worse things, but it's up there with the suckiest things. Oh my god, I have to tell you, we've gone through probably half this bag already. If you see these at Trader Joe's, this pumpkin, this pumpkin, pumpkin spice pumpkin seeds, they're really good. I have them on top of my, um, my what? My vanilla yogurt, so good. Okay, let's get to it. Ingredient. I need to deep clean this kitchen, it is so gross. roasting in the oven and then I have my water on to boil for um, my pasta I really do love having fresh herbs on hand and I've been doing pretty good with keeping them alive dude the amount of cheese that this recipe takes is four cups of cheese it's quite alarming <laughs> alrighty we have our setup going here so I've got my gouda cheese my sh I did unexpected cheddar from Trader Joe's, some flour, butter, um, all of my herbs are in here and my seasonings are in there as well. Go ask, go ask Daddy open, you can have a little bit now. 